Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. And today we're talking merchant listings on Google with your WooCommerce site. And recently I had one of these errors show up for a invalid SKU within the Google Merchant Center. I thought, gee, how did this even get into my database? And what is a valid SKU? So I had to go through all SKUs and find out how to validate them. This is how I did it. So here I have my message with the fixed merchant listing saying invalid SKU. So I'll click the link and jump in to the invalid SKU field within Google listing. And I can see I've got merchandise and mud flaps right there that's causing an issue. So I'll need to fix that. So I jump over to this regular expression website and we get our SKU and put it in there and we can see that it says merchandise mud flaps and the spaces are causing the issue. If I remove the spaces, the SKU is now valid. So if I copy that and then go over to my products page and here I've got that particular um, product there, I can do a quick edit and under quick edit, we have the field SKU. If I remove those spaces and click update, then that's gonna fix that SKU. Keep in mind that if you do have integrated systems, you're gonna to have to double check there. Things like Deer, Xero, um, anything else like that where you have your product integrating, you'll have to check that your SKU is updated in those other systems. Now, to check every single product, it becomes a bit of an issue. So what I did is created this MRKWU SKU validator. The link to this is in the description. Uh, so you can download this on GitHub. And within this plugin, we create a page inside the backend of the WordPress administrator. And this page runs this little bit of code here. And we get an SKU validator page, and then that runs a SQL query. So this should work on a reasonably large database. That being said, don't install it on a production site. It's just a test little plugin that I've got for some code. So clone your site out to a local environment or some sort of developer environment. This will then go through and it looks at all the SKUs through your entire database and matches them against this regular expression. This will tell you for any particular SKU that it's invalid and create a nice little table for you. So if we go back to our WooCommerce site, click on SKU validator. You can see here that this is what this plugin creates. It creates the SKU validator page. There's a link in the side menu for the administrator menu. And here you can see all the SKUs that are invalid and a link through to their particular product. By clicking through to the product, you can open it up. It does take you to the front end of the site and then you'll be able to edit that particular item to fix up the SKU and validate it accordingly. After editing the SKU within WooCommerce, you can go into Google Search Console and click the Validate Fix button. It'll look something like this. After that, the Google crawlers will go and crawl your site to validate the SKU field has been successfully fixed. The Google crawlers can take days to validate the fix, but most often that occurs within a 48 hour period. They'll send you this email that says the merchant listing structured data issue has been successfully fixed and indicate that the invalid value in the field SKU has now been validated. So I hope you like that plugin that we've made. It's free for everyone just to download from GitHub, helps you validate your SKUs in WooCommerce. Now, if there's any other questions or other things that you wanna learn about WooCommerce, don't forget to leave a comment below, like and subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next video.